Alrighty. So today I'm doing a dopamine detox where essentially I'm doing as it implies. I'm just doing nothing, no screen time, no instant gratification. No, I'm going to avoid food today as well. And the purpose of this will be to refresh myself and assist myself in getting rid of bad habits because I've fallen off track with my self-improvement lately. And, yeah, it's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> it's making me angry with myself, which is not a bad thing because that will force me to make a change. So today, I already like did some mobility exercises after waking, and although I won't be ha spending any time on the screen, I am recording this video right now, as well as I'll probably just journal a little bit later, like right before bed, like I normally do, and like record some stuff there, but I might not need to because I'm recording here right now. <laughs> But lately, I've fallen a little bit off track with my self-improvement in a way where lately the bad habits I've been falling back on, into are doom scrolling, like Instagram, or no, not Instagram, uh, like YouTube shorts, which is really taking a toll on my attention span. And although... I haven't been gaming much lately, and it doesn't seem to be as bad as it used to be in terms of how it makes me feel and what it does to like my brain and body. I'll still decide to stay away from the game simply because it does, you know, it's a very dopamine heavy activity, and it also incre decreases my attention span and makes me feel like quite stiff because I'm just sitting in a hunched over position while gaming as well. I mean, it, realistically, it is instant gratification as well. Another bad habit, which I really emphasized on wanting to quit last night when I journaled was the masturbation because although in the past couple of years it hasn't been as bad, it's still enough for me to be like no i need to i need to stop this like once and for all because from the age of like 12 to 19 i was like any average teenager nowadays where multiple times a day lots of stimulation for me personally i've never i've never been addicted to porn in particular but the, the like the Instagram models that those used to still stimulate me and I've fallen off of that too thank god but I still masturbate just often enough to where it, it still kind of fucks with me fucks me up so I finally decided to cut that out <laughs> only midway through no not November <laughs> That's getting cut out. And I'm also going to avoid food today just because I'm normally a carnivore, which serves me very well. But I've been eating carbs lately, so my, I have, like, very heavy carb cravings. So I need to avoid those. I don't eat, like, bad carbs. It's only, like, fruit and honey, but... It's still, like, I have no portion control with any sweets whatsoever so I'm just gonna avoid those and I'm just gonna avoid eating overall today because I haven't really like done any sort of fasting in a while either pretty soon I will also be doing monk mode monk the monk mode will be similarly styled to uh, the dopamine detox, but it'll be a little bit less restrictive and the dopamine detox for me is literally just gonna be doing nothing all day just me and my mind and Nature <laughs> But monk monk mode would be styled a little bit differently where I'm just gonna 
Keep all the... Keep all the bad... How do I word this? The way... I was watching Eman Gadzi, and he's a, an influencer who is all about business and self-improvement. And the way he described his monk modes was there's a few things where he keeps like all of his bad habits he keeps completely like gone while he's in monk mode so for him I, I think for him it was like no weed no alcohol no screen time unless he's working on his business and I don't know what his third variable was but for me I'm going to style my monk mode similarly where there's going to be a few variables where it's just going to be super strict like for diet for example I'm just going to be uh, strict like red meat only no carbs no anything else it'll also be no video games no masturbation again but for that i plan to just cut that out overall i started that yesterday <laughs> for no and instead of no video games i'm gonna say no screen time overall unless it's just journaling or trying or recording like i am right now I don't know why I can't think of any other variables off the top of my head. One thing I will be doing for sure is what I haven't been doing lately, which I also forgot to mention, which is my my train my resistance training routine, which I am doing a like calisthenics beginner training routine that I just started back up on this week, and <clears throat> I have because I've neglected it for so long. And I've lost my progress and hit a plateau. I've hit many plateaus. In I've been training for about seven months now, which is still beginner phase. But I've changed up my routines way too much. Not been the most consistent, and because of changing my exercise selections and the frequency in which I train, I've just not made any progress. I've made little beginner progress, progress, but it's so minuscule that it, it's another thing that's kind of making me angry with myself, but I'm not going to be like mad at myself. I'm going to forgive myself. Because I can't change anything in the past. I can only change the future. Or not change the future. What am I saying? I can only I can only uh I can only make the change that I can make. Just keep going, adhere to at least three days of resistance training. Limit my screen time. No more doom scrolling. No video games. At least for now. I won't like cut them out completely. But for dopamine detox and monk mode, I'll be cutting them out. I don't know when I'll be starting monk mode, by the way. Just trying to think of more variables. I think those are about the only three. Just no screens. Unless I'm journaling or recording. That means no video games, no doom scrolling, no YouTube videos. Car carnivore only. And the no masturbation. That's about all I can think of for now. Again, I don't know when I'll start the monk mode. But I will begin that 
sometime in the near future, probably in the next couple weeks. And I'll be going for 21 days. And if I think of more variables, I'll just... During the, my monk mode, I will also be recording every day that I do monk mode. That way I could track my progress and I'll also be recording every training session that I do from here on out. That way I could start tracking my progress and and that way I could look back out on on look back on it in the future. That way I could also start to have a little bit more direction in my life. <laughs> I haven't had much of that. I've not done as much improving as I could have done on self-improvement, but I've still made, now that I think about it, I've made actually quite a bit of progress, but I can make more progress and I'm going to strive to make that progress because I can do better and I can be better and I can be in a way better position right now I mean I could think of the dietary decisions I used to be super addicted to all the junk food and sweets and carbs and now it's like I'm carnivore and when I cheat it's with fruit and honey which those aren't bad but I do feel best when I just like no carbs red meat only so I guess in a way I could count eating fruit and honey as a bad habit just because it's not ideal for me and it's it's a temptation for me. But I digress. I've made a lot of progress in that domain. Which was the biggest struggle for me for the longest time. But now my struggle is the <laughs> masturbation. I, I was doing good with it for the time that I did my first monk mode but that was not really a good monk mode because or that wasn't really a successful monk mode in terms of cutting out bad habits and doing good ones because at that time I was still eating the junk food I was still just doom scrolling on YouTube granted it was not really doom scrolling it was it was watching full length podcasts but I would use that as cope really say that I was doing useful, that I was being productive with my time when I wasn't, and I was still jerking off, fapping. So when I do this next monk mode, which will only be for 21 days, and it won't be for the four months, like my last one, it'll, I'll be sh really cutting out the bad habits and adhering to the good habits. Because I need to, again, get some direction and actual progress and track of progress in my life. Because I've not been tracking. But now that I am going to start recording and tracking my progress, it'll there will be a clear marker of progression. Which will hopefully give me direction. Because I have, I've had no direction for... A long time but it's starting monk mode again I don't know when it will begin I want to begin monk mode I mean I would start now but I just there's a, a couple more work days that I don't know if I'll have to work like late nights or not because when I do monk mode, I also want to have, like, perfect sleep. Which shouldn't be too hard. That's about all I can think of for now. Next video will be... Tomorrow, when I train my calisthenics body bridge or backbend or wheel pose, whatever... You guys want to call it and then it'll just continue from there with my training sessions so 
think that's about all. I'm gonna end right here. <clears throat> See y'all later.